Hey guys, it's Mia here, and welcome back once again to another vlog style video. Now, I know this is the second one I've done in a week, but there's just some stuff that I wanted to talk about in shows and movies, so I wanted to do them. Now, these aren't really reviews of the shows, but that's why they're not in my show and movie category, and instead in my vlog category. But I kind of hinted at this in my last video from Tuesday, so this one shouldn't have come as a surprise. And I feel like I haven't talked about this topic, and I know it's a little outdated at this point, but it still has me a little salty, so I wanted to talk about it today. And that is the whole Teen Titans versus Teen Titans Go. Now, I was a fan of the original since Teen Titans came out on Cartoon Network on the TV. I've watched it for years. And being someone that was a fan of the show from the very first episode, which was the one where they started out fighting, I believe, my least favorite of all the episodes being the Mad Mod one because that just got a little overbearing and kind of overstayed its welcome. Like I said, being someone that has liked Teen Titans since it came out the very first episode for the very first season, and the way that Teen Titans ended in season four, uh, season six or season five, it just seemed like it ended on such a cliffhanger with Spoiler alert, so if you haven't seen it, click away from the video now. I'm giving you time to click away, so you cannot blame me if this show gets spoiled for you. If you haven't watched it, leave now. If you have, then you already know, so stick around. Okay, assuming that anyone doesn't want a major spoiler is gone now, if you're not, I give you plenty of time to leave, so you can't be mad at me. I feel like after Terra kind of betrayed Slade and went back to the Teen Titans because she cared for Beast Boy and then all of a sudden not having any memory of what happened because of the huge collapse and then Beast Boy like sadly walking away from her after he knows that she has no memory was such a huge cliffhanger to land on and I know that the show creators originally had a plan for season five or four, I can't remember which, to be the finale of the series. So that's why they went all out with the battle with Trigon and Raven and Slade and all of them together trying to stop the end of the world. They went all out with that final battle because that's what it was supposed to be, the final battle of the whole series. But once again, because the show was so popular, the studio executives said, we want more of this show because it's drawing in the views and getting the ratings. So that's what they did. And then for whatever reason, after that, they pulled the show. So that's why it ended on this huge cliffhanger. Because the show was pulled for whatever reason, after the studio execs forced the creators of the show to make one more season. So... When I heard that Teen Titans Go was going to be the finale the fans have hoped for, the continuation of a series that ended on such a big cliffhanger, I was absolutely excited. I mean, they hyped it up for months, and I was here for it. I was like, yes, they're finally continuing Teen Titans. We finally get to know what they had planned after that cliffhanger. I am so excited. And they were saying, oh, now that our fans are older, we have more capability to do stronger, more adult storylines. They were hyping it up to be a faithful continuation that now that we're older, we can have more for our age. And then, on premiere day, when it was supposed to come out, I stayed at a friend's who wanted to watch it as well. We got ready, we got our snacks, we got our popcorn, 
And then the theme st- song started playing. And I'm like, what the hell is this? <laughs> it's like they're chibi versions of their original selves. The color is just so bright. They have every rainbow of color in the spectrum. The shadows are so watered down and fake, and it just looks ultra cartoony. All the details were sucked away, and I think the very first episode was them trying to hunt down the ingredients for a legendary sandwich and a bunch of fart jokes. Are you kidding me? After all that hyping up, of the series that was supposed to be the continuation of Teen Titans, you freaking give us something a two-year-old wouldn't even watch? And the thing is, after that, I was so pissed off because after months of hyping it up like the next continuation of Teen Titans, we were given that. So I was like, what the heck happened? Did they just flat out lie to us? Because that's such bullcrap. So I looked it up, and I saw an interview with the creators of Go, and they said, yeah, we know the original fans of Teen Titans are going to chew our heads off. They are going to be ticked off. And they laughed about it. They knew what they were doing. They They fucking knew what they were doing. They played on our expectations, treated us like fools, and gave us shit. People that looked up to the show as a kid and were finally excited to see it get a more mature, more finished story didn't get that. They said a big fuck you to every fan that they had. And now that's all you see on Cartoon Network. Teen Titans this, Teen Titans go this, Teen Titans go that. Are you trying to make kids stupid? Because fart jokes, sandwich making, and freaking acting like idiots is not going to teach your kids a lesson. It's not going to give them heroes to look up to. It's not going to give them people to aspire to be. I feel like nowadays, cartoons are just trying to make their story as simplistic as possible, as colorful as possible, as loud as possible, without teaching the kids lessons. And I feel like cartoons are kind of really important for little kids because they start watching cartoons before they go to school. So if they have fun learning with those cartoons, then they're going to think, well, if I have fun learning with these cartoons, I'm going to have fun in school too. And the learning with their favorite characters just makes it that much more enjoyable, so they're more invested to learn. Cartoons teach kids valuable lessons. At least they used to. But now we get promised gold and get given shit. Coming from... The, like, the generation that grew up with cartoons that actually teach their kids lessons and give them heroes to look up to, shining examples of what you could be if you don't give up, if you keep towards your goals. Getting fart jokes, sandwich making, loud obnoxious characters, loud overbearing colors, It just ticks me off. And yeah, I know that Teen Titans is not gone. I could watch it right now if I wanted to. I know that the older cartoons are not gone. That's not what I'm trying to say. We were absolutely cheated in the way that they hyped up Teen Titans Go to be the successor to Teen Titans. And they knew 100% that they cheated us because they flat out admitted the original fans are going to hate us. I'm honestly surprised that their studio did not get burnt down after that. But, yeah, that's just how I see it. And I know that they said there were some production issues or whatnot, 
and I heard that they are still planning to continue the actual continuation to the actual good series, but I'm not holding my breath after what we got when we were already promised the new adult continuation of the series. We were promised it once, and we were cheated. I'm not holding my breath that we are actually going to get it this time. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, I don't think so. Alright, well, that's my thoughts on Teen Titans vs. Teen Titans Go. The art style for Teen Titans is much more stylized, the characters have more depth and troubles and humanity to them, the colors are not obnoxious, the storyline is existent and you follow it and you have a reason to fall in love with each character. The teamwork is so much better. Teen Titans Go is a watered down, stupefied version of Teen Titans. You are not going to change my mind on that. Alright guys, well, what are your thoughts on this? I know it's an old topic, but I talk about stuff when I want to talk about it, not when it's popular. Hope to see you next time. Bye, guys.